The D audio is developing cavitation noise absorbing paints, which will soon undergo cavitation erosion liquid jet test that will improve stealth of submarines. The D audio is looking for Indian firms for transferring the technology of oxidation resistant coatings for long duration hypersonic cruise missile that will be useful in high temperature conditions of 1100 degrees Celsius where materials start to get oxidized. The German ambassador has said that Germany has been very hesitant earlier, but now there is a clear political will in Germany to increase defense cooperation with India through military visits exercises and co-production of defense platforms. The first edition of the Naval Commanders Conference of 2024 will start tomorrow, during which the Defense Minister will witness both aircraft carriers conducting twin carrier operations. Prime Minister Modi will participate in the Bharat Shakti war game in Rajasthan on 12th March, that is aimed at testing the effectiveness of Indian made weapon platforms and network centric systems. ISRO has formally inaugurated a first of its kind large trisonic wind tunnel, which can reach maximum wind velocity conditions of four times the speed of sound, that would be used for testing the aerodynamic design of rockets. Chinese media has reported that during a simulated combat exercise, the Chinese J 25th generation fighter jet brought down 17 enemy fighter jets without suffering a single loss to itself. The Chinese media report have stirred a controversy, and certain media outlets claim that the J 20 demonstrated superior combat capabilities in a mock combat scenario against 17 Indian Rafale aircraft. Experts have said that the identity of the enemy aircraft remains undisclosed, and the mock combat exercise might have involved the J-11, rather than the Indian Rafale aircraft. The Defense Acquisition Council has already cleared the acquisition of 1,750 FICVs in 2023, and as per latest reports, the two private sector giants Tata and Bharat Forge have been selected as development com production partners for the futuristic infantry combat vehicle program, which will ensure involvement of both companies from the beginning of development cycle, and lead to reduction in the time frame of the development to induction cycle. In a major development, the Kalyani Group has started design and development of three indigenous naval guns under the Make One category of the defense acquisition procedure, that includes 127mm gun for large warships, 76mm for medium-sized warships, and 30mm gun for smaller warships, that will significantly reduce India's reliance on imports. The CEO of Adani Defence has said that Adani Defence has expressed interest in the 111 Naval Utility Helicopter Program that will be manufactured in India based on technology provided by a foreign original equipment manufacturer under the Strategic Partnership Framework. Adani Defence might form strategic alliances with a foreign original equipment manufacturer, and there is a possibility that its involvement could accelerate progress in the long-delayed naval program. Foreign media has reported that Argentina was firm on procuring 24 Danish F-16 by end of 2023, but latest reports indicate that a second player seems to be regaining its positions again. Argentina's initial enthusiasm towards F-16 has disappeared, despite the bold offer of AIM-120 AMRAM air-to-air missiles and joint direct attack munition. Argentinian Defense Minister recently visited Hindustan Aeronautics, and India has offered a superior and more cost-effective Tejas variant, armed with top-notch and competitively priced weaponry. Today's Top 3 Comments 